This video is about exponentials and logarithms. Exponentials. Exponential growth is when the number of items is multiplied by the same amount over equal periods of time. For example, 5 after 1 second, 10 after 2 seconds, 20 after 3 seconds, etc. Technically, any function of the form f of x equals a to the power of x is an exponential function. But the function f of x equals e to the x is a specific example with a special relationship that the differential also equals e to the x, i.e. the rate of change is the same as the function itself. Logarithms The natural logarithm ln is the inverse function of e to the x. As a result, the graphs of e to the x and ln x are reflections of each other in the line y equals x, as can be seen in the graph. Before continuing, Recall the rules of logarithms. These apply to logarithms of all bases, including the natural logarithm. Log a plus log b is log of a times b. Log a minus log b is log of a divided by b. And log of a to the power of n equals n log a. Equation solving. Equations involving e to the x and ln x, or versions thereof, can be solved by using the inverse function. So if a equals e to the power of b, then b equals ln a. And if c equals ln d, then d is e to the power of c. Examples. Number one. Solve ln 2x plus 3 equals 4. Correct to three significant figures. Strategy. Use the fact that if c equals ln d, then d equals e to the c, and then solve the linear equation. Solution. Ln of 2x plus 3 equals 4, so 2x plus 3 equals e to the power of 4, which is 54.598, etc. Taking away 3, we get 2x equals 51.598, and dividing by 2, we get a value of x of 25.8, correct to three significant figures. Question 2. Solve e to the power of x plus 20 e to the power of minus x equals 12, giving exact answers. Strategy. Multiply through by e to the x, then rearrange like a quadratic equal to 0, factorise and solve, using the fact that if a equals e to the b, then b equals ln a. Solution. Timesing by e to the x, we get e to the 2x plus 20 equals 12e to the x. Subtracting 12e to the x from both sides gives us e to the 2x minus 12e to the x plus 20 equals 0. Factorising, we get e to the x minus 2 and e to the x minus 10, from which e to the x equals either 2 or 10 and x is ln 2 or ln 10. Question 3. Solve 2 ln x minus 7 is equal to ln x plus 5 plus ln x minus 11. Strategy. Use the rules of logs to write each side of the equation as a single logarithm. At this point, with ln a equals ln b, the ln is no longer required, and you can just solve a equals b. Solution. We can put the coefficient of 2 as an index, so we get ln x minus 7 squared on the left, and we can use the multiplication rule for our addition of logarithms so we have ln of x plus 5 times x minus 11. So we can get rid of the luns, and we have x minus 7 squared equals x plus 5 times x minus 11. Multiplying out the brackets gives us x squared minus 14x plus 49 is equal to x squared minus 6x minus 55. The x squareds cancel out, and when we rearrange we get 8x as 104, and hence x equals 13. Question 4. Solve 3 to the power of x times e to the power of 2x minus 1 equals 5, giving an exact answer. Strategy. Take logs of both sides in order to split up the left-hand side and use the third rule of logs and the inverse relationship between e and ln to simplify. Collect like terms on each side, factorise and divide. Solution. Write log in front of both sides. And as a result of that, on the left, we can write ln 3x plus ln of e to the 2x minus 1 
equals ln5. We can move the x down and have x ln3. The ln and the e can cancel out and leave us with 2x minus 1. So we have x ln3 plus 2x minus 1 equals ln5. We can move the 1 across so that all the numbers are on the right. So we get x ln3 plus 2x equals 1 plus ln5. Factorise the x out on the left and get x brackets 2 plus ln3 and then we can divide by those brackets to give a final answer of x equals 1 plus ln5 over 2 plus ln3. Exponentials in context. To finish, we shall look at formally where the exponential growth or decay is in context. These contexts can include exponential growth, for example populations, or decay, for example cooling curves or radioactive decay. We shall look at a population of geese in our example. Example. The population of a flock of geese is given by the formula p equals 504 all divided by 1.6 plus 2 times e to the power of minus 0.02 t, where p is the population and t is the time in years. Find 1, the initial population, 2, the maximum possible population, and 3, the number of years it takes for the population to reach 250. The initial population is when t equals 0. Substituting t equals 0 gives p equals 504 over 1.6 plus 2e to the power 0. Since anything to the power 0 equals 1, this is the same as 504 over 1.6 plus 2, which is 140. The maximum possible population will be reached after an infinite time. As t tends towards infinity, e to the power of minus infinity tends towards 0. Hence p equals 504 over 1.6, which is 315. To find the number of years it takes for the population to reach 250, we substitute 250 for p and solve the equation to find t. Multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator and multiply out the brackets to give 400 plus 500e to the minus 0.02t equals 504. Subtract 400 and divide by 500 and we get e to the power of minus 0.02t equals 0.208. Take logs and then divide by minus 0.02 to get a final answer of 78.5 years. The end.